Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this video we'll show how to hide the skeleton in Autodesk Inventor's frame generator. This actually improves in the video I created a couple weeks ago, and I'd like to thank Poi Tufoy. I'm sorry, I know I probably completely butchered that name, but I would like to thank him for pointing out some ways we can make this better. So I'll go ahead and show the old way quite quickly, just sum it up, and then we'll show the new way and how that improves the process. So here we have our frame. And the first thing I'm going to do is check eye properties for the mass of our frame. Right click and go to eye properties, check the physical tab, and we can see that this weighs in the ballpark of about two tons American. And that includes the skeleton solid that I'm using. If I go to my bill of materials and change it to phantom, which is what I did in the last video, we get that part out of the uh, assembly. However, when we go to our physical tab, we see the mass hasn't changed. Changing it to phantom still calculates the mass. That might be okay if you're not worried about mass, but here's how to make it better. We'll go to the bill of materials, and instead of using phantom, we'll change it to reference. That still removes it from the bill of materials, so it's not showing up there. However, when we go back to our properties, you can see how much the mass has dropped now. That's a huge change, so if you are worried about mass, that's a better way to do it. Now let's go ahead and place the view. Place the base view using the marquee menu. And I'll just throw these two views on there. And then I'll zoom in and we can see that there's still reference lines showing where that solid is. We don't want to show them. So I'll go back to my view, and in the reference data area, I'm going to turn the reference part off. And just by doing that, the part shows correctly, no reference part, it's no longer calculated in the parts list, or in the overall weight of the assembly. There's our parts list, we'll just zoom into that really quickly, and there you can see, no skeleton. So there's a slightly better way of taking care of that skeleton part. Thanks again, Poitifoy, sorry for the mispronunciation, and we'll see you guys for the next video.